Hey everybody, I'm the Linux Gamer, and I just played Wizorb. It's a breakout style game infused with RPG elements, developed and published by Tribute. Wizorb was released for Linux December 19th, 2011, and was included in the Humble Indie Bundle 6, September the following year. Wizorb has a 16-bit graphical style. The assets feel like they were dumped straight out of a Super Nintendo ROM. That's not in any way meant to belittle the game's art direction. In fact, to the contrary, I find the game's aesthetic to be quite polished and beautiful. The only issue I have with the game's design is the music. There's something about it that feels off, slightly mistimed percussions, and insipid melodies that strain the ears. It's amusing to note that I find the game's main character, Cyrus, bearing a striking resemblance to a character from one of my favorite games of all time, Wes from Mother 3. The gameplay of Wizorb is simple and straightforward. If you've ever played an Arkanoid or Breakout clone, you'll know exactly what to do here. You control a paddle, here called a magic wand, along the bottom axis of the screen. The ball, or orb, bounces off your paddle and destroys blocks it touches. Once you've cleared the screen of blocks, you move on to the next stage. It's as simple as that. But the game introduces invulnerable blocks, blocks which require multiple hits, and even moving on-screen characters that must be defeated in order to progress to the next level. You have magical abilities with which you can manipulate both the orb and the environment. You can shoot fireballs, invoke a gust of wind, power up your ball to cut through blocks, and a whole lot more. There are multiple hazards, as well as collectibles which drop from certain blocks during gameplay. And let's not forget about the bonus rooms and shop. Wizorb controls solidly. You use the mouse to move the paddle back and forth. You can use the left and right mouse buttons to activate your power-ups. You can also use J and K on the keyboard to activate those same power-ups, but it's much simpler just to click. Also, why J and K? They seem like the most arbitrary keys to me. My only complaint about the controls of this game is that the on-screen button prompts aren't clickable. You have to press K to go back while you're in a shop. It's a small complaint, but I can't tell you how many times I've tried to leave a shop and accidentally triggered the would you like to purchase this item dialogue. The game runs at full speed on both my GTX 970 powered desktop and my AMD powered laptop. I would recommend Wizorb to anyone who loves Arkanoid or Breakout clones. It's available for Linux through Steam. Links are in the description. Have you played Wizorb? What do you think of it? Be sure to tell me in the comments or on Twitter at the Linux Gamer. You can also follow me as a Steam curator. Feel free to check out the rest of my channel, including my previous Spec Ops The Line review. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button and share it with your friends. And make sure you subscribe to see more from me, the Linux Gamer. Thanks for watching. You have magical abilities with which you can manipulate both the balls and the environment. <laughs> manipulate the balls.